Okay, so again, B here. Then for part B, we have, what is the speed of this box just before hitting the spring? So now we'll see, for part C, how far uh, we want delta to the spring. And then for D, including the first crossing, how many complete trips will the box, box make across the surface before coming to rest? So then D, the number of trips. Okay, questions? Is that reasonably clear what they're asking? Okay, so again, how do I start this? Um, each one of these, I'm going to be starting kind of like its own way. So let me say yellow. So if I'm doing equals MEF, so I say PEG is KE. So I get MGH equals one half MV squared. Mass is cancel. I get V is the square root of 2GH. Okay, so that's taken care of. Then we'll jump over to green. Now we want the velocity on there. So using this same y equals e f plus derivative work, um, and they want this uh, m g h equals one half squared, um, and then this uh, f sub f times d, which is going to be mu m g. Of course, then masses cancel again. Click, and I get v is equal to the square root of um, something like 2gh, <laughs> 2 times gh minus mu gd. Yeah. Or I guess it could have taken, could have said 2g, I guess. Check that algebra, is that right? Mu gd, subtract, multiply by 2, yeah. Okay, question so far. Everybody cool with this? Okay. All right, so then we're going to switch to, I don't know, I'll try some duck lorongs over here. Now we want to find delta x. What is the compression of the spring? Find here x of this. Um, so all we need, well, okay. Do we see the general energy in this whole system? So we come down, we slow down a bit, hit this, come back with the same velocity in the opposite direction, slow down a bit, slide up here, but not as far as we did before. And then each time, you're going to drop down until the work eats up your last amount of energy. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, so you can do something like, gosh, what would be the easiest way to do this? Uh, for, yeah, we already did see... For, oh, sorry, let's do delta x first. I apologize, we didn't do that. Uh, I'll try to do delta x in orange. Thinking about d. We need to answer, what is this right here? So we're just going to take, we're going to take v, c. Uh, yeah, we're going to take v, c and use it in ke. Ke2, right? So we're going to say ke2 is equal to PES. So our one half MV squared, and that's VC, is equal, v, and VC means that one right there, uh, one half KX squared. Twos go away, and we can say X is equal to the square root of uh, M over K vc squared. That'll give us our, our compression of x. Is everybody okay with that? Now, for part d, what I would say, probably what I would do, my, just, my initial thinking is, <laughs> I'm just going to try to find the number of round trips that this takes across that, or you could just find the number of trips it takes across that. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, like you could do it You could do it for round trips or you could just do it for individual trips. But then if I do it for individual trips, I gotta remember if it's, um, I have to remember if it's odd or even or something like that. So what I would do for, for myself, I would say a round trip. So that's one round trip would get me back to B. 
That one round trip means that I'm going to use up mu m, oh, sorry, 2 mu m g x. Or I think, I, yeah, I think we called it d. So, well, did I call it d or x? Whatever. <clears throat> right, right on the drawing, I think I called it x, but whatever. You get the idea. Does this make sense? So what I'm going to say here, uh, I'll go back to yellow. Say trip uses 2 mu m g x of energy. So then I'm just going to take the p e g initial and divide it by 2 mu m g x. And then that should give me the number of round trips. And then I know if I'm halfway through a round trip, that means if I'm less than halfway through, that means I'm going this way, right? I'm going towards the spring. And if I'm more than halfway through a round trip, that means I'm coming back from the spring. So I don't know what this is. Let's say this is mgh over 2 mu mgx. That cancels with that. So it's h over 2 mu x. And what was h? H was... Five meters, and what was um, mu was 0.25. What was x? Two. So uh, that's 0.5. So that's one. So it's just five. So it's five round trips. So it'll be like, and then back up a little bit shorter again, again, and finally on the fifth round trip, right? It'll stop just at the base of the hill. Questions? How are we doing? Does that make sense to you? So it's sort of like, you know, the idea is, you know, if there's somebody on a, on a bridge taking a toll, like a charge, and you have a certain amount of money, how many times can you go across the bridge? Like, where will you end up, sort of thing? And then every time you go over and back, right, and you use up twice the toll, that's kind of like what it is. All right, no questions?